So today I'm going to do a quick demo about one of the usages of the this keyword in C sharp. And I had a student ask me this question the other day because they got to the 300 series in Skill Foundry, which is where you encounter link. And they were really impressed by how you could chain these methods together and build really readable but complex queries. And they said, hey, you know, is there a way I can do that in my own classes? And the answer is yes, and it's not that hard. So I'm going to show you how. So for this demo, what I have is an email message class. And I've just put three simple properties in here. We're going to keep it very basic. We have a subject. We have a list of recipients that we're going to put in the two. And we have a body. And the first thing you might be asking is, what do you mean by Fluent API? Well, when we instantiate a new email message object, I would like to be able to just chain methods like add subject, add to, and add body all in one statement. This is the same result as setting things separately, but this kind of chaining just makes it read a lot better like English, and some people really prefer this syntax. So here's how you do this. I'm going to go into the email message, and I'm going to create my first method, and we're going to call it add subject. Now, what am I going to return from this method? Well, I want to return the object itself because that's how these methods are going to chain together because they all have to be called from the same object instance. So my return type is going to be an email message. And we'll call this method add subject. We'll pass in the subject. And then in the method, we're going to assign the value to our property. And then we're going to return this. And this is how the keyword works to chain all these methods together because I'm returning the current object. So when I say dot add subject, I'm referencing the object again. So the next time I hit dot, I'm going to see all the members of the email message. So let's go ahead and add our recipients here. So again, I'm going to return the email message itself and I'm going to say add to. And in my code sample over here, I wanted to be able to add multiple ones at a time using the array syntax. So let's go ahead and write support for that. I don't know how many email addresses they're going to pass me, but that's what the params keyword is used for. And I know people don't see the params keyword very often. This is a good use case for it. So they're going to pass in a list of email addresses. We'll just call this recipients. And then using the magic of the collection syntax, I can say two dot add range, and I can add all of these at the same time. And I spelled recipients wrong, I think. So I'm going to fix that. That's better. All right. So we're going to add the range of the recipients in, and then again, we're going to return this just like that. Same thing with the body. We're going to return the email message. Let's say add body. Just like that. We're going to assign it to the property. And then we're going to return this. And when you do this, now if we go back to our program CS file, you will see that all the red squigglies went away. We are now happy. And now that all the data has been added, Let's just go ahead and write a fake send method that just outputs everything to the console just to prove that we got our data in place. So let's say void send, and then we'll say console.writeline, send me email. And then we'll print out the subject. Just like that. We'll print out the two. For this one, we'll want to join those list items. And we can uh, separate them with the semicolon just like we would with, the, uh, with an actual email. So we'll say semicolon, space, comma, and then the two. Just like that. Console.writeline, and we'll put the body in. Just 
just like that. And now if I put e.send and I run my application, we should see everything print out and send correctly as we did. You see how these got separated. So I used a couple extra tricks in there. If you're a beginner, string.join, really useful function. Params keyword, really useful for adding a range of things. You can add a range of values to a list really quickly. And then of course, using return this and the object type is how you set up a Fluent interface. Happy coding.